Hey y'all, Matt here from RetroOnly.com. Today I'm going to be answering another quick question about the Nintendo Switch. And that question is, does the Nintendo Switch have the capability or have Disney Plus on it at all? A lot of people have this question if they're new to the Switch, they just got it maybe for the holidays or for their birthday, and they want to know exactly what they can put on it. Or maybe you're thinking about buying the Switch and you're wondering what apps it can put on it, whether you can do use the most popular streaming apps. Of course, Disney Plus is one of those. So that's what I'm going to cover here in this video. Rather than me just giving you the answer, though, I prefer to show you. So what we're going to do is I'm going to dock my Switch onto the TV here, and I'm going to show you exactly whether the Nintendo Switch has the capability to have Disney Plus on it or not. So before we hop into that, please be sure to like this video and also subscribe to our channel as it really does help us out here on YouTube and also allows many other people around YouTube to see these videos and get their questions answered about the Switch and other retro gaming items. You can also check out our website, RetroOnly.com. So here, let's hop into the TV. All right, so now that the Switch is open here on my TV, first thing we're gonna look into is if Disney Plus is on the Nintendo eShop or not. So just gonna scroll down here to the bottom and go to the eShop and then you're just gonna select your user and then what you'll do is you'll have to enter your password for the Nintendo eShop. So I'll go ahead and do that right now, and then I'll hop right back with you as soon as I get that password entered. All right, so here we are inside of the Nintendo eShop, and the first thing we're going to look to try and use Disney Plus on the Nintendo Switch is in the Nintendo eStore, just simply going to search and browse, and then we're going to go ahead and enter the keyword. So we're going to type in Disney. And as you can see, it's up here at the top. But rather than just do that, we're just going to type in Disney itself, just in case the plus sign throws something off or anything like that. Once I go Disney in, I'm just going to push plus and then search. And unfortunately, as you can see here, there are some Disney apps. Those are games that you can purchase here from the eShop that are Disney related. So you've got Cars, Disney Classic games, um, uh, and then a couple other ones there at the bottom. Unfortunately, it does not have Disney Plus on the Switch that you can download through the Nintendo eShop. Now, there are two streaming services that are on the Nintendo Switch. This is as of right now. And that is YouTube and that's Hulu. Both of those are available. You can search and add normally through this app or through a free app here on the Nintendo eShop. Now there is a backdoor way to do the Disney Plus and I'm going to cover that here next, how exactly to do that. There are some other videos here on YouTube on how to do that, but the problem is they don't show you the issues with using those backdoor methods, which I'm going to actually show you exactly the problem with it and how exactly it works. That way you can decide for yourself if it's worth the hassle or if you should simply just not use the Switch at all for um, Disney Plus and trying to watch it mobily, those sorts of things. So let's go ahead and hop into that backdoor way of how you can get Disney Plus on your Switch. All right, so here we are back at the home screen and I'm gonna show you the workaround on the way to get Disney Plus onto your device, but also then the issues that come with it that most people experience when trying to do it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here to system settings and then you're going to scroll down here to internet, go to internet settings, and then it's going to search for your network. You're going to pick the network that you currently use. The one that I use is called Setup. So we're going to click that. And then you're going to go to Change Settings. Scroll down here to DNS Settings. And it's currently will say Automatic. You're going to click A and change that to Manual. Now these will normally be all zeros. You're going to input this primary DNS number right into your whatever your network is. It doesn't matter what the network is that you're trying to access to. You're just going to change this primary DNS to it, leave the secondary DNS as zero. I will put this primary DNS into the description below. So if you don't want to pause the video and you want to keep watching through, you can find this DNS setting in the description below or simply pause this video right here so that way you can see it. And then you're going to go over and click save. Once the settings have been saved, then you're then going to go to connect to this network. What it's going to do is it'll connect the console to the network device and then you're going to get an X between the network device and internet. Now the first time you do this with this with these DNS settings, it's going to go back and forth a lot more between your network device and internet. Sometimes it can take 30, 30 seconds up to a minute. Um, so it's considerably longer than what it showed just right there. And that's because I've done these DNS settings before. And so it knows that that's not a valid DNS setting or it's not letting me connect to the internet. So it did it quite quickly versus it being longer the first time. So if yours is taking longer the first time, don't worry about that. You're then gonna cl click next. And this screen's going to pop up here in a second, and you're gonna click continue to Google once that pops up. It'll be right here on the right-hand side. And there we go. It says continue to Google, so just move your cursor over, continue to Google, and push A. Now you're onto Google search on an actual browser. So if you're wanting to browse, you can use this method, but we're talking about Disney Plus. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna search on here for Disney. And then we're going 
to do login. We could we could have typed in Disney Plus login. Um, well, however you want to do it's fine. And you're going to click plus for OK. And we're going to go ahead and search. So now we've got our Disney Plus login right here at the top. You're just going to click A to log into Disney Plus. And then your Disney Plus um, on the browser is going to open up here in a second. One issue that this method has is that everything takes a little bit longer since you're using a browser and not actually using an app that's on the switch. So it can take a little bit for things to pop up. There you'll see it popped up. It took longer than it normally would on a computer or even on any app. So I'm going to go ahead and log into the Disney Plus account here and then I'll be right back with you once we're logged into Disney Plus. All right, so I'm logged into the Disney Plus account and we're going to go ahead and click one of the user accounts. And this is still on the same browser on the Nintendo Switch and this is what's going to pop up. Now, here is the main issue with going this route with your Switch is this is what's going to show up. This is in real time. I'm not cutting out any of it simply because of the time or anything like that. This is real time exactly how it's showing up for you if you're to be use this method to try and access Disney+. Plus. This is the problem with trying to use this method. A lot of people tout this method as working and it's great and there's no problems and whatever. I have a 250 um, gigabit speed for my internet and this is what shows up every single time. Script execution is taking a long time. Do you want to continue executing? We're going to go continue. And so it's going to continue to try and pull in the information on this browser for Disney+. Plus. And whether it's because of the way Disney Plus is written, whether it's because of the way this browser through this DNS is written, I'm not exactly sure. But the problem that happens is this. There is, it does it again. You, as you can see, we're gonna try reloading the page. Nope, let's not reload. And let's go ahead and let it run again. We're now a good minute or so in, and this is the exact same issue that I've had every single time that I've tried using this method on my Switch. You have this pull up, you'll have it kind of pull up. You can even scroll around a little tiny bit. So let's go ahead and scroll down. And you've got, all right, my recommended for you. Nothing shows up, but it's showing recommended for you. And still nothing. You can't click on any of this stuff. It won't take you to any of these things. Um, let's go ahead and click on movies here. Let's see if it'll do anything. So it's gonna try and reload movies. And it's gonna again take forever. And this is why I would not recommend trying to use Disney Plus on your Switch. If you wait long enough, maybe you can get it to work. Maybe. All right. But as you can see here, we're now multiple minutes in. We haven't loaded a single video on any of the screens. We've got one little line of nothing here. That, no videos that we can look into. No movies. We've got recommended for you. Okay. Now we got new for Disney Plus. All right. We got two of the little things and we've been waiting now for two and a half minutes. That's the problem with trying to use these backdoor methods to try and do something in your Switch that it isn't designed for. Sure, it might work. If you hack your Switch, absolutely. You can 100% use the net, get Netflix on your Switch or get Disney Plus on your Switch because you can then download Android apps onto your Switch. So sure, you can do it that way. But if you just have your native Switch um, running and you're trying to backdoor it using this method, your, your switch isn't hacked or anything like that, this is the issue that you're going to run into. It really isn't worth it, in my opinion, to try and go through this entire process to then be frustrated and have to be all upset because, oh, it works, I saw somebody on YouTube do it, and this is how it works. This is the real deal. This is the issues that you're going to run into. Again, I have a fast internet at my home here, um, 250 gigabytes, I can run everything. I can download games on the Switch quick. I can play games on any of my other consoles without any problem. And you have all of these problems. Now maybe I'll try reloading it. Sure, that'll work, right? You'll have the same issue over and over and over again. So can you use Disney Plus on the Switch? In theory, the answer is yes. Simply because you can use that backdoor method to get to Disney Plus. And maybe, if you wait for 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 20 minutes, maybe you could get it to play a video. Maybe if you continue to reload the page over and over and over again, maybe you'll actually get it one of these times. It's possible, 100%. Like right now, we've got more things that have shown up than we've ever had before. Now we've got a little bar thing across the top. We've got inspired by true stories right there. But as you can see, nothing is loading quickly at all. We're four minutes into this video. We've yet to see a single title. 
We've yet to see, or sorry, four minutes into this section, we've yet to see a, see a single title, we've yet to see a single movie pop up that we could even click the play button on or click to go into, and you're going to have the error message. So, personally, I'm going to say this is a no. Disney Plus really doesn't work on the Nintendo Switch, and anyone who says it does has either hacked their Switch or is doing something different. Maybe they're on Google Fiber, and if you have Google Fiber's internet, you know, it's fast enough because you've got a, you know, a terabyte of speed or something. I don't know. But as you can see, this really doesn't work on the Switch. So hope this video has been helpful to you. Again, my name is Matt from RetroOnly.com. Please like this video below. Also subscribe to our channel. It really does help us out in regards to showing this video to other people who are having the exact same issues. They've seen these fake videos on YouTube or around the internet of how it works and how you can get it to work. And this is what truly works. And they might think, oh, I'm doing something wrong. Maybe there's a way to do it. And they waste hours and hours and hours of time when really it just simply doesn't work on a native switch unless you've hacked it or unless you've got something funky running with it. So hope this video has been helpful to you. Have a great day.